Last Saturday, Isotope released RX-10 and today it has released the Ozone 10. And I want to take a look at Ozone in general and the new features, of course. So let's get started! All right, let's dive into it immediately. For the people that don't know yet, you can make a mastering chain in this plugin and do everything from within one plugin. I personally do not use Ozone. I actually use a combination of FabFilter and Sonable plugins together with the Illusia Alpha plugin and my analog gear for mastering. A lot of things are going to change in my mastering game because I'm want to invest more in analog gear but that's something for a completely different video and that video is something that i will make as soon as that transition if you can call it like that uh, has been finished one of the cool things that ozone can do is it has a master assistant so this works kind of in the same way as the instant mastering services work i did a comparison with them uh, over here it's basically ai that is mastering your track uh, the difference with instant mastering services and this is that instant mastering service you have to pay every single time and ozone you just buy it or maybe it's a subscription form i don't know yet because that's the information that i do not have yet before i'm going to demo this master assistant feature i first want to say that isotope did reach out to me with early access to this plugin they also included a license because otherwise you can't really run it they have no saying in what i can or can't say in this video and i'm absolutely not sponsored and if you appreciate my independence make sure to support me by using my uh, affiliate links the qr codes are over here but there will also be normal links in the description down below really use that link when you're buying new gear because you're helping me a lot when doing that impact is pretty big actually all right now let's see how this thing will master i don't know the track title anymore so All systems go! Oh wait, I recognize this from the last time I reviewed Ozone, I think. Or from uh, Neutron, I think. Alright. Interesting, stabilizer. Okay. We also have some information on the stabilizer. So we've got our tonal, tonal balance, tonal, tonal ma match thing uh, over here. It has now target rock. Maybe let's do target pop. So here you can see where normally a pop song according to Isotope is in, in its tonal balance. This is actually not really weird to do. I actually have a few targets as well in my analyzer. I use the, the flux analyzer. I do have, have certain target lines of which I know like, hey, normally the sub is over here. The mids are around here. The highs are around here. Just to do an extra check. However... If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. So even if an analyzer is saying, yes, you are in the right range, you could still be off. So we've got width match, interesting. Uh, we've got dynamic match and maximizer. Uh, let, let's see what that does actually. So because ba basically, oh, it says it as well as a tooltip, I think. It basically uh, boosts the loudness of the song. So, listen. It now sounds louder. It now sounds less loud. Uh, there's also an optimized for streaming and DJ player. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is really cool. Really cool. Oh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! They're getting it! They're getting it! They're getting it! Ha! Look! Look at this! Look at this! Watch this! Watch this! So, optimized for DJ players. So, DJ player, CD players, whatever. They want to have a little bit of a louder version. I can understand. I don't want to understand it, but I, but I, I get it. It's, it's a long story that I should make a separate video about that, maybe. 
Leave a comment below if you wanna wanna see that video. So DJ Player is a louder version. Watch what happens on my on my total total volume. So, so we're clipping basically. And is clipping bad? That's also a, a complete video that I can make about clipping because it depends. Look what happens when I set it to streaming. So basic thing to do when delivering for streaming is respecting the luffs, the loudness. And you should be above minus 14 uh, luffs, not exactly at it. You, you can get exactly to minus 14, but I would say go a little bit above it. And you should do minus 1 dB true peak. And that minus 1 dB true peak is something that a lot of people are still missing. It doesn't really have something to do with uh, loudness and how loud the track will be, but it has to do with the codec. And there is, of course, a discussion like how big is the difference. On the other hand, the streaming service are just asking like, hey, can you deliver a minus 1 dB true peak file? So if they're asking for it, why not just deliver it? But look at what Ozone is doing. They're doing that second thing as well by just selecting streaming. They get it right. They read the specs, as we should all do. So the cool thing about Ozone compared to an instant mastering service is that we've got this, we've made it all. It's a bit, bit of the same as the Focus Right Fast stuff where you have like a simple overview. And then you can go in here and tweak whatever you want to tweak. For instance, this, I mean, a 32 Hertz, extra shelf, let's not do that. Um, but you, you can now tweak a few settings also this maybe maybe not too enthusiastic or maybe i don't know so if we look at the full chain we have that eq we have the stabilizer which is a new feature in ozone 10 only an advanced version and it's basically they, they call it an adaptive eq so it's it's uh, look at what it's doing it's kind of a spectral balancer or an, or a multi-band compressor with infinite amount of bands um Doesn't do a lot on this track, but it's one of those those parts of the mastering train that you want to be a bit careful with because it can really flatten and dull out the sound a bit. On the other hand, like the way that you can control this thing, like with the low, like, could be very could be very helpful as well. I wouldn't actually apply such a thing to to this track and this uh, uh, this master. So. Uh, the assistant chose to do it, I, I wouldn't do it. And the cool thing about it is I can also now just uh, just delete it. The next thing that it did is uh, Impact. And Impact is also a new module in Ozone 10 Advanced as well. And what Isotope says about it is that it's something to control the micro dynamics of your track. <laughs> uh, whatever that may mean. Let let's turn off the other, the other things. So let's just... It's some kind of multiband transient designer. It's actually a little bit of the same as Fission and Smart EQ. I think. Not, not fully the same. But it really focuses on, I think... I think it focuses a little bit on the, on the transients and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of interesting that we're now... W one of the things that we're doing for loudness, to get more loudness, is, is crushing the transients of a, of a track. And now a mastering plugin has, <laughs> has a module to actually expand and the transients of a track again so be because we have the dynamic range back again because we're now delivering for streaming services oh my god what world do we live in let's remove transients let's bring them back anyway if you mix the track yourself and ozone says that you need or you you say yourself that you need the impact module go back to your mix really <sighs> All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the chain. So we have an imager, okay, actually just narrows it. A dynamic EQ and a maximizer. 
there's now a magnify soft clip, which is this thing. So instead of compressing, we're now clipping it. So we've just brought the transients back in the impact module. And then we're crushing it again over here. And then we can maybe enable the transient emphasis so that we're getting them back again. Or I mean, come on, decide, decide. What are we going to do with the new dynamic range? Are we going to keep the transients in there or not? What are we... <sighs> okay. Anyway, it can do that now. Just don't. Maybe in certain styles, certain genres, it can work. But don't do it to be louder. Or don't do it to be... <sighs> and I think that's basically it. Ozone does have a few more features, probably. Uh, I will link to the website down below. But these were the most coolest features to talk about. Uh, so, new Ozone version. Yeah, check it out. I'll link to Isotope in the description down below. And I do think that they have a trial available as well. Both for the standard Ozone as the Ozone Advanced. Yeah, check it out. And come back to this video and leave a comment down below with what you think. And that's all that I have to say about Ozone. If you like my videos and want to support me, you can do that with the affiliate links that I showed earlier. Or you can do that by becoming a channel member. You can press the join button next to the subscribe button underneath this video. Or you can go to Patreon and sign up over there. Content is the same on both. Should be the same. I'll link a few playlists of the extra content over here so you can check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing. And bye bye.